Here are no ingredients, garlic. White onion. Leia Perrins, Worcestershire sauce, soy sauce, sesame oil, mirin, black pepper. And now we will going to mince the garlic. At first, we will remove the skin of the garlic and press it before we mince it. We need 10 globes or one whole of garlic. 10 clubs. <laughs> okay. Mince. Chop and mince in small pieces. Into small pieces. Now we need to chop the white onion into small pieces. Make it sure that all the onion will be chopped into small pieces and mix it with the ground beef. And now we put all together the garlic and the white onion into ground beef. We will now add the liquid ingredients which is one fourth cup of mirin okay and then one fourth cup of soy sauce i use kikuman sauce but you can use dato puti silver swan whatever kind or brand of soy sauce do you have And now we will add the ground black pepper. And of course, now the Worcestershire sauce. And now we're ready to mix it everything until incorporated all the ingredients, all the liquid ingredients. Make sure that all the ground beef will be mixed with all the liquids that you put together and of course after this we will preheat the frying pan i'll just use the small amount of cooking oil or or olive oil if you want because the beef will have has its own oil that will produce later on okay mix it well and don't forget to add one tablespoon of sugar or more if you want more sweeter than the original taste Some other bulgogi ingredients use beef strips. Here I use the ground beef because it's more easier to cook than the strips. 
I add my little bit um, sugar because I use one kilo of ground beef here and you need to double all the liquid ingredients because if you use one kilo of ground beef if it's only one half kilo or one pound of ground beef you just one one port each of one port each cup of the liquid ingredients and now um, we will saute all the meat uh, wa while it's um, we already preheat the frying pan or the we will what we're trying to achieve here is to remove all the watery of the beef or the pots that are while looking at or to use the on its own oil because I use a little amount of oil because I know or we know the beef will produce its own oil or fats so as you can see we will wait f until some watery become comes out and after the watery it will um, remove also or comes out also the oil of the of the meat and of course we will need to achieve the color golden brown so this is as easy as you as you can see in your house you can try this and i'm sure you're gonna love this you can see the watery or the juices or the liquid ingredient that uh, we put together will comes out but later on you will not see any watery because the beef will get all the juices that uh, all the ingredients that we put so the taste it's all together and when you try to taste it already it's really good my god you will need extra rice <laughs> This is so delicious, according to my children and to my husband. This is my first time to cook bulgogi. I just watch it also in some other videos in YouTube. Actually, I learned cooking in YouTube videos since 2001, I think. Because when I was a teenager, I, I hate kitchen. I hate heat. I hate cooking oil. But when I get married, because, you know, there's a, there's a saying that... There's a saying that to win the man's heart is through his stomach. So you need to learn as a woman, as a wife, as a, as a girl, you need to learn to cook. It's not an excuse you don't want a kitchen or you don't want or you don't know how to cook. You need to learn. As time goes by, I have a children and so I need to know, to know more recipes. So I learn to cook as time goes by. I'm sure other wife who are still just um, getting married or just get a starting a family you need to learn cook, to cook by, you know, it's easy nowadays because there is a video on, on online. We need, uh, the the Wi-Fi is available every now, every now and then, anywhere, any, any, any place. Not unlike before, it's hard. You need to watch on the PC. Now you can watch on your own phone.
the sesame oil. We need the we need the sesame oil for the aroma and of course additional flavor. Okay. Almost done. It's getting dry. No more liquidy. No more watery um, texture or the sauce is already incorporate with the beef and just prepare a bowl of rice or a, a one cup of rice in your plate and top it with one cup of or one ladle of ground beef and put some sesame oil I mean sesame seeds and sprinkle it with spring onions and that's it you have a one full meal This is the color that we are looking for. Almost almost done. And what you need is a plain hot white rice on this. It's almost done. Um, try it at home and don't forget to comment down below if you already try it.